What's up you guys? August 26th is fast approaching for Travis and I in this upcoming track day at the firm. I'm about two weeks out right now as of making this video and today we're gonna go ahead and do a brake pad upgrade with my new Hawk HP Plus brake pads. So here are the new brake pads, Hawk HP Plus. These are the front pads obviously, a little bit bigger. And then here are the rears, a little bit smaller. Hawk HP Plus. This is a step up from like a standard kind of brake pad. So when I say it's a step up, like it's a normal brake pad, but it's designed to be able to use on track. So higher temperatures, those kind of things, it can handle much better than your typical like advanced auto parts off the shelf kind of brake pad. But the good thing about these is you're still supposed to be able to drive home. It's not like a racing brake pad where you, where they're going to squeak like super loud and you really have to have them hot for them to work optimally. Like these will just work. Uh, you can go on track, rip it, they'll do their job, and you're supposed to be able to drive home on them. Not that I am driving home in this car, I'll be towing it again, but you know that option is there, it's always nice to have. This is just a step up for me getting into a nicer brake pad. And as you guys saw, I also got this real nice Motul RBF 600. Dot 4 racing brake fluid, 600 degree boiling point. Much much higher boiling point than a standard dot four brake fluid. I've got the front right off and that's where we're gonna go ahead and start. sides of the fronts buttoned up and now we're gonna move to the rear.
All right, you guys, so for this rear rotor, it's a little bit different than the front. When you have to go ahead and put the, uh, the piston back in the caliper, you, you have to use some kind of tool to kind of turn it back in. Like, you can't just push it in like you do on the fronts. So you'll see what I mean when you get there if you're not familiar with doing this, but you got to kind of spin that thing in, and then you can put the caliper back over the pads. Okay, you guys, so that's the fronts and the rears all buttoned up with the new Hawk HP Plus brake pads. Now time to go ahead and do the Motul fluid. We're gonna go ahead and show you that process now. So what we need to do is we're gonna start at the furthest point away from the brake reservoir, which is up in the engine bay. So we're gonna go right rear, left rear, right front, left front, as far as the brake bleed. And then what we need to do is make sure that as we're doing this, we have constant brake fluid in our reservoir. We don't want it to drain all the way out. So here's this little bottle that Trav gave me. Uh, you actually take this end of the hose, hook it up to the end of the uh, brake bleeder there, and this is like a closed system is what he was saying, so that you can kind of do this with one person. Uh, someone can be, or you can go ahead, break that thing loose, come up into the cabin, press the brake pedal, keep doing it, and not have to worry about this falling loose or more air getting in. So this is a pretty cool little bottle. All Star Performance closed system bottle. like as I'm picturing the edit I hope that goes the way I'm picturing it to but essentially you just start at the uh, right rear the passenger side rear then you go to the other side rear then up to the right front and then the left front you're just working your way towards the master brake cylinder and you just repeat those steps for each corner so you put the little nozzle on for the tube you break the 10 millimeter bolt free, you'll see some fluid going. You go in and press the pedal. I pressed it five times, and then I would go and check the uh, rear. I would see if bubbles were coming out. I would see if the fluid had changed color. And then I would also check the master reservoir, and I would top it off just to make sure the level was up. And then you do that at each corner. And then at the end, just top it off the master reservoir. I mean, it really is pretty simple, you guys. Um, so yeah, I hope those steps make sense. If not, message me or put it in the comments, something like that. Um, Hawk HP Plus uh, brake pads, front and rear. Motul RBF 600 fluid. The last thing I gotta do is go ahead and embed these brake pads against the rotors that are already on the car. So there's a couple steps that Hawk uh, recommends you do. We're gonna go do that and then it'll be done. Here's the back of the box for the Hawk stuff. And pretty much it's saying go out and go at medium speed, engage the brakes six to eight times without coming to a complete stop. Don't drag the brakes, which I think means just don't sit on them for a long period of time. Just slowly engage them, slow the car down, don't come to a complete stop. Then increase the, the speed, simulate race conditions. This is saying just go faster <laughs> six to eight times again without coming to a complete stop and not dragging the brakes. Then come in, allow the system to cool, and park for 15 minutes or longer, blah, 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 and then, yeah, you're ready to go. All right, so out by that orange grove again, and I'm going to do five to six just kind of light stops. So here's one. Keep going. You don't want to go down and stop to nothing, it says. Working my way back up. Okay, 
you guys. So bedded in the brakes, and man, they definitely are a huge step up from what I had. Like even that first little bit of testing with it, you know, and breaking them in, man, like it, they stop, okay? They stop. It, it seems like it's gonna be a really great pad. So the only issue I had was, you know, I know the car was already pulling to the left, and now when I was hitting those brakes, it was like darting to the left. So that caught me by surprise. Like that first initial high speed, I mean not high speed, I was going like 60 and went to hit the brakes harder, you know, and it kind of jumped out to the left. So definitely got to get that alignment sorted and hopefully that's the only issue with that. But uh, other than that, the car is definitely a step up, man. Motul RBF 600 brake fluid and Hawk HP Plus brake pads front and rear, done.